He enters the ring as the number one contender in the division, who made his glory debut in Brussels three years ago. Here comes Mertel Grunhard. The Predator, Mertel Grunhardt. The number one contender enters this fight with a 58, 18, and three record. 32 wins by knockout. He's four and three though in glory. Has that number one welterweight ranking. But he's really on a tear right now. Having won that contender tournament in Milan. And I'm telling you, he's got to control the distance by using front kicks. And don't back straight up like he did in that first spot because that, I think that looked bad in the eyes of the judges. And I, th I don't think that uh, Murta wanted to admit that, but it still did. But I, I think that he's going to be blasting. I think he's been going for his own KO the whole time. I think so as well. And speaking of KO, he's got a knockout ratio of 57%. That means, you know, Hey, you also got to watch out for those knees because he's really tricky on lo being long and rangy and then sliding that knee up on the inside. He does work, do his best work from the outside. So like you were saying, Stephen, I think being on the ropes is a huge mistake for him. He needs to avoid the ropes and work that ring. Yeah, the first time he faced Nicky Holskin, the bout went into an overtime round. It was three rounds, then they went into the fourth, and it was still very close. It was so close. And Myrtle disputed the decision on that particular night all these years and has held that in his conscience. Grunhardt has waited five years for his revenge. And if there was any question at which one of these fighters from the Netherlands would get the most support, well, that that ovation really put a uh, an, an answered that question pretty quickly. The fans love Nikki Holskin. Let's check out the tail of the tape for this welterweight title fight. As in their first fight five years ago, Murta Grunhardt has a few years in age over Nikki Holskin and a little over two inches in reach. But this is a clash of styles and personalities. Grunhardt is the trash talker and the knee guy, but people forget that Nikki Holskin has also got great knees as well. Time for our main event. And to introduce the two welterweights, 
Here's Tim Hughes. Their first meeting was an extra round war. Five years of heat could lead to fire in your main event of the evening. Two Dutch warriors, five rounds for the Glory Welterweight Championship of the World. From the center of the kickboxing universe, inside Rye Center Amsterdam, it's time for glory! <laughs> Introducing first, the challenger, a world max champion who won the welterweight contender tournament in Milan. His record, 58 wins with 18 losses, three bouts scored even, 33 of those wins by knockout. He stands six feet one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, Mertel, the Predator, Runehard. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the right corner, a three-time Dutch, four-time world champion. His record, 87 wins with 11 losses, 46 big wins by knockout. He stands six feet even, 1.83 meters, and he weighed in at 169 and one half pounds, 76.8 kilos. Also fighting tonight out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and undisputed Roy Welterweight Champion of the World, Nikki the Natural. Your referee for this contest is John Axwood. Okay guys, you know the rules. Break is two step back. Stop is stop. Okay? Fight on the right. If you have question? No? Okay. <laughs> no questions. I guess not. <laughs> what? No love lost between these two. A rematch five years in the making. Nikki Holskin in the gray and Mertel Grunhardt in the black. No glove touch. Nice right hand by Holskin right away. But Grunhardt comes back with a stiff jab. These two got in each other's faces during the weigh-ins as well. Already we're seeing them stand in the center of the ring, which is going to be better for Grunhardt. Holskin going to work on the knee of Grunhardt with those low kicks. Grunhardt popping a nice jab, high and low. Right to the chest there, got him with the hook jab. That was nice. Right to the sternum. Yeah, that's where you hit him. And he's so long and lanky, he can bring that knee up right behind it. Check that kick. Grunhardt's camp made a note about how Nikki Holzgen comes back and ends people usually late in his fights. And uh, they seem to think that they're going to stop him before that happened. Grunhardt loves to put heavy pressure on his opponent. This guy knows how to finish a fight, too. I like how he's hitting low in the body. Grunhardt Once, doing nice body work. Yeah, one snag that happened at Grunhardt's last fight, which was the finals in the welterweight contender tournament in Milan in November. He gassed in the fight against Gaiji. Went for the finish, had Gaiji hurt, it looked like Gaiji was gonna go, he didn't go. And then Grunhardt was able to rekindle his second win in the third round and take the victory. I'm sure that they're thinking about that going into this fight. Grunhardt tried to land the flying knee, but it was blocked by Holskin. As we approach one minute to go, round number one, scheduled for five. The Glory Welterweight title on the line. 
Both guys still looking for a way in. Holskin doesn't seem concerned about the point game right now. Body shot from Grunhart. This is a five round fight. And Grunhart in his last couple fights, even though he got winded in that last fight, was a three round fight. You wonder how much as Grunhart tumbled to the canvas, how much Holskin is playing into that and laying back a little bit here in that first round. Combination from Holskin. Yeah, Holskin got him with a nice little uppercut there. Yeah. He's almost hidden on the inside. Holskin switches stances to bring up that big left kick. I know. He's got the southpaw. Ramon Deckers used to force him to do southpaw over and over, and he got to where he liked it. Those kicks from Holskin echoing through the arena just misses with a flying knee. Well, I guess there is such a thing as a second round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Haven't seen many of those tonight. I, I'm not, frank, I, frankly, I'm not surprised that this went into the second because I know both guys, they realize that the importance of this fight. And it was a very tactical first round, but how did they get it done? Let's take a look. And they're both being very patient, looking for the shot in the way inside. Holtzkin lands a nice straight right there. But Gronhardt, look at that jab. It's beautiful. It's long, shoulders extended, and he's stopping Holtzkin right in his tracks. Stiff jab. Go on. There's Second that. round action, and Mertel Grunhardt starts it off with a stiff jab. Holskin back in orthodox stance. He was doing good leg work from the southpaw. Mertel's scoring well, uh, you know, since Holskin has switched back to orthodox. Holskin just missed with that uppercut. We'll see if Holskin. Oh! oh. Oh, Holskin says he slipped. That was a solid kick, though. Yeah, it was a good kick. Oh, look at that combo. Yeah. But the kick wasn't a knockdown, but nonetheless, it was a slip, but still doesn't look good because Holskin is getting outpointed right here. Yep, doesn't look good. Here goes Switch to Southpaw stance again. Oh, 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 that almost looked like he hit him in the back of the head, and referee John Axwood warns him. Super slick move, though. Yeah. This is the most technical I've ever seen Martha Grunhardt. Waited a long time for this opportunity as we take a look at the total strikes. But very close. Murtho getting his back to the ropes, though. Yeah, push, gotta, pushing out, though. Got to stay out in the middle. Holtzkin oh, switches again to Southpaw. He's doing great kick work when he makes that switch. That body shot right number two. The natural, 31 years old. One of the best pound for pound fighters in all of kickboxing. As soon as Holzgen switches back to orthodox, the flying knee comes from yeah. Rocco. I feel like he's doing a lot better in the southpaw stance. I agree. I think he should stay there for a while and keep that kick going, try to slow Myrtle down. He's really well, moving. Yeah, he really hasn't loaded up yet. Nicky Holzgen hasn't. But I think that's what's going to happen. He's going to switch the stop ball. He then, just loaded up there and threw the whole thing forward. Just missed. And missed. Hotel <laughs> moves forward with combination going to the body and then downstairs. And a stiff jab lands for Greenhart. I love the left uppercut right hand that Martha Grunhardt just threw. Grunhardt hitting that body hard, cutting that leg on the way out. Nice. That 
body work's going to pay some good dividends to get into these later rounds. That's right. Ten seconds to go here in round two. But Murtho's starting to slow a little bit. Holzkin pressing forwards. Flying knee. Right hand behind the ears. Holzkin with a back fist. And that evil look <laughs> from each one of them. Well, there's the heavyweight champ. Rico Verhoeven doesn't look like he was in much of a fight tonight, although he was. Let's look at the highlights from that second round. And it was a good flush kick. The Grunhardt got him with right across the body. Yeah. yeah. That was awful close. Yeah. He shielded the kick. Yeah, he, he blocked the, the kick. Ball. Yeah. Oh, that, that could have been a knockdown. That was right on the line. I agree with the call that it wasn't a knockdown because it was a shielded kick. He wasn't hurt, hurt. If it was a liver kick and the guy goes down for pain, yeah. he was off balance. Yeah. Yeah, super slick move here on Grunard to take his back, whip right around him. I'm not sure about the back of the head punch. Yeah, but he but also tried to drop the elbow after the punch. Grunard, look at that knee. Oh, just missed. That was his bread and butter during the contender tournaments in Milan. He landed that a bunch of times. Greenhart did receive a warning for the shot to the back of the head, and you gotta give Holskin credit for that knockdown. That wasn't, he got up and he rubbed his feet like he slipped. That's a veteran right yeah. there. <laughs> gotta sell exactly. it. Exactly, good point, Ron. Nice, look at that. Fake dip in, left hook to the body from Greenhart. Oh, that one got through. Quick and slick, Greenhart on the aggression. Here comes Bertel Grunhardt. Round three, Run Kruk, Frank Shamrock, and Steven Quadros. Glad you could be a part of Glory 26 Amsterdam. Spectacular action in this welterweight title fight. I just like the variety of Murtha Grunhardt in this yeah. fight. Because usually he comes out, it's going to be about the knees and the hard straight punches and try to knock you out. But this one, he's played on the outside. And this would have technically been thought to favor Nicky Holzian, but it hasn't. And what a variety of strike selection here, guys. Yeah, well, I mean, it's all Grunhardt, 35 to 14 in the punch department, kick department, 22 to 18 and knees. See, it's all Grunhardt. And you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you, I think <laughs> Grunhardt's ahead. <laughs> I know you were going to ask I'm going to get this. That was coming next. I know you were going to get this. Right in front oh. of action. Good shot. Holskin stunned Grunhardt there for a second. Yeah, threw a nice chopping left and got inside. We haven't really seen Nicky Holskin load up yet. No. No, he's being very economical, and maybe that's his strategy to exactly. get this late into the fight. Let Murphy do a whole bunch of work and then bring the bombs. The first time I ever saw Nicky Holskin fight was in Glory 1. I forget the name of the opponent. Sorry about that. But he looked like he was in trouble and he was on the ropes, and he did a total Jake Lamada where he finishes the guy right near the end of the fight. Yeah. Well, he protects really well. He really, yeah. really understands the range. He knows how to play possum well, too. And I say that in all seriousness. Good Good shot, shot oh, from that, Nikki Holskin. That left hook. That's going to hurt. It's half hook, half uppercut. Grunhardt comes back with some kicks. Really sharp kicks from Grunhardt. Under 30 to go in round three. Scheduled for five. Now suddenly it's starting to look a lot like the first fight. Good work. Grunhardt has not slowed down here in this third round. Ten seconds to go. These welterweights continue to entertain.
Niet wil eigenlijk wachten op de aanval, ja? Waar gaat hij? Waar gaat hij? Oké. Ik kan het gas geven, hè? Hé, hey, Nicky, wat is er Niet te lang wachten. Ja. Let op. Hij gaat dus uit ook ja. Waarom dan niet te lang dat ik in de haven sta? Grap je? En als ik dan moeilijk ben, Kijk eens uit. Pak je hem gewoon vast. Ja, hier. protection. We enter the championship rounds. Nikki Holskin and Mertel Grunhart. Waging war for the glory welterweight title. Grunhart, he was breathing pretty hard in that corner, taking big deep breaths. Nikki's got to get busy here, though. So far, Grunhart has piled up a lot of points. According to the statistics and our expert view, we agree that he Ooh. may be winning this fight. Snuck a good quick right knee in there to the gut of Brunhardt. And here comes Holskin. Eats a jab, though. Comes back with the push kick. Holskin's got great punch defense. He's always tight. He's always blocking. Holskin's corner is shouting for him to pick up the pace. Be the aggressor here. Well, Mirtha Grunhardt is using a lot of movement. Now the left hook to the body. Holskin has had a lot of success wow. with those hooks to the body. Look at total strikes, 86 to 50. Mirtha Grunhardt. So he's not just moving right out of the way. He's, he's blasting working. back with angles. Yeah, he's working. He's staying real busy out there. Right there, moving forward, throwing the left hook to the body. Mirtha Grunhardt. Oh, there's some power. But Grunhardt comes back with a jab. Past the halfway point of round number four, scheduled for five. And here comes Holskin. Holskin seeing a oh. spinning back kick. Just miss it. That would have been a problem if it landed. Yeah, Grunham almost ran into that one. Yeah. Step back, step back. Have to wonder if Polskin will break that one out again. Fighters exchange low kicks. Body shot from Grunhardt. He trapped the kick and tried to chop the leg, but Bertha Grunhardt stayed on his feet. I like Grunhardt's work. I like yeah, his game. Because he's playing for points, and that's a smart thing, because usually he would load up and get tired, but he didn't do that this time. What a knee from Grunhardt. So we have 30 seconds to go in round four. Holtzkin's moving forward, but I don't see him doing the same amount of volume or the same amount of damage. He's going to dig himself a big hole for this fifth round. He's going to need a knockout. Yeah, for sure. here at the end of round four. Martha Grunhardt piling up more points. My, what do you think, Frank? I think that he uh, took that round, too. I think he definitely took the round. Yeah. And I think he's running away with this fight. And you can see right here, Nick, Nicky's, uh, he pulled the card down and threw that hand in. Very crafty move. And he's got good defense here. Nicky blocking those knees coming up. He knows they're coming. But he's just not busy enough. He's, he's right. dug himself a big hole. He's got one round to finish this, and he needs a knockout, in my opinion. Yeah, he does. And he's going to have to start with that body. That left hook is going to have to go ballistic this round. However, you never know how the judges yeah. will score it. Of course, Mertel Grunhardt in that first fight, believe he won that fight that went to the extra round. But the judges disagree. Yeah. But that fight was a lot closer than this fight. Now, I think this fight has not been close. I, I think it's, it hasn't been a blowout to where Nicky got hurt, per se. But he's gotten popped quite a few times. 
And the numbers don't lie. Yeah, he's working him. Final three minutes in the fifth round. Nikki Holskin, Murtel Grunhart, what a fight. Nice head movement, jab pop. Grunhart is on fire. Yeah, looks like an issue with his glove. Referee John Axwood will restart him in the center of the ring. Grunhart said coming into this fight, he felt that he had Holskin's number. Wow. Nice exchange. Yeah, tit for tat with that left hook, both landed. And Holskin and goes down. Nice single leg. <laughs> Only works in MMA, folks. Holskin from the southpaw stand. Goes doing back great to it again. Is again. It's not science if it works. Or, uh, sorry, it's, it's not luck if it works, it's science. That shot buckled Grunhart. The time's ticking here. Under two minutes to go. The Grunhart in southpaw position. Now that's a no no. He can't trip the guy like that. Another warning, but no point deducted. Holskin switches to the southpaw stance. Yeah, he's going to be aiming that kick to that inside of the leg and try and force Martha Grunhart to go to southpaw again. Can't Murtho Grunhart keep this going? Or will nice... the champion come back? Yeah, there's a nice right uppercut by Grunhart. Holskin punching hard now. Uppercut from Holskin. Knee from Holskin. Continues to hack away at that left knee. Body shot from Grunhart. He's only got one minute left. Grunhart doing the perfect thing, side to side motion, he's popping the jabs, yep. keeping his energy up. Stick and move. The and fans are going crazy here in Amsterdam. Both fighters, what a performance they put on tonight. Under 30. Grunhardt still moving and sliding and striking. Yeah, he's going to the body. He's, he's, he's acting like he's the champion, really. Grunhardt taking it to the champ. High kick from Holskin, just misses. Holskin landed a few good shots to the leg, but not much else because of the movement of Grunhardt, the opponent, who could be the champion real soon. Performance from Murtel Grunhart. Was it enough to take the belt away from that man, Nikki Holskin? Gets a hug from Big Mike there in the corner. Guys, how do you have it? Do we have a new welterweight champion tonight? I think we do. I think Murtel Grunhart won the first four rounds for sure. This is the last round because Nikki did a couple good things to the leg, but I still think Bertha Grunhardt may have taken the fifth round as well. I think it might be a shot. I'd give him at least four rounds, yeah. maybe five. I think Nicky was effective in his counter striking, but I don't think he got, I don't think he won the fight. 
Holskin never really got things going as we check out the final stats. Frank. And look at the strikes thrown wow. from Grunhardt. 389, landing 35%. Holskin throwing 216, only landing 36%. So yes, he was economical, but he got outworked. The air horns are in full effect here in Amsterdam as we check out the highlights. And Grunhardt just too fast, too long, working the angles. Punch and kicking high and low. That could have been a slip knockdown. Who knows? Didn't matter because Grunhart was able to slip under punches. Punch from angles, rip the body, go high. Holskin not shut down, not shut out, but certainly put back steps. Beaten to the punch. Grunhart just working, outworking him constantly. And some good strikes to the legs. Holtzkin was doing awesome work from the southpaw stance, was beating the knees up, but I don't think he did enough to win this fight. Will the judges agree with Frank Shamrock's assessment? We will find out. Let's get the official results with Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. Judge number one scores the mound, 48-47, Holskin. Judge number two scores the mound, 49-46, Grunhardt. And judge number three scores the mound, 49-46, for your winner, by split decision. And still, Roy Welterweight Champion of the World, Nikki Holskin! Nikki Holskin retains the Glory Welterweight title, and Myrtle Grunhart is devastated. Well, they say you got to take the belt from the champ and you got to beat him in his own house. I thought he beat him. I thought he did enough. I thought he worked a brilliant strategy. Nicky did not look like, doesn't look like he's hurt, but he didn't look like he won that fight. Two class acts there. As Nikki Holskin raises the hand of Murto Krunhart. What a night from these two warriors. And in the middle of them both is Steven Quadros. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. I, I, stay right here. Okay, okay, yeah, exactly. Yes, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't uh, the easiest fight for me because, uh, you know, my uh, homie uh, Murto said a lot of things and it comes in my mind. So in the fight, I. I'm a little bit stuck, but I try to, I know what the point is but, uh, with Glory. Put pressure, make the cleanest uh, shots and the harder shot. I think Myrtle did a very good job. I think it was very close, but in my opinion, yeah, uh, the jury said I win. I'm very glad. We said a lot of things uh, to each other, and uh, I don't like that kind of things. I said it already in, uh, in the media. Myrtle said to me just uh, 10 seconds uh, before that uh, it was not all his... Uh, real meaning, so I appreciate that. I hope he has a big future, and maybe in the future we have a, another rematch. And I want to thank uh, Yuri Mas, the other guys, and uh, Mike Pasenier, also for my nickname, The Natural, because you was right, brother. Okay, I want to say uh, thank you, everybody. Hush. Okay, that's your champion, Nikki Holzgen. And let's hear from the Predator. It's gotta be an emotional moment for you. Your thoughts on the fight and the decision. Yeah, uh, I want to thank everybody that uh, come out tonight. All my fans, everybody. Thank my family for the support. Mike for our training. I want to thank uh, Raymond van Daldo who still believe in me. And uh, it was a hard fight. Nicky won. And, uh, you know, you, you got to be proud of yourself, though. Yeah, uh, big time. Man. That was a great game plan. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two great warriors, the champion, 
The Natural, Nikki Holzgen, and The Predator, Myrtle Grunhardt. They will meet again. Well, the first time it took an extra round for Holzkin to be victorious. This time, it, Frank Shamrock, it was a split decision, and really, it could have gone either way. It could have gone either way. Uh, you know, I picked Gronhardt in this, but hey, I would love to see a rematch. I'd love to see these guys fight anybody. That was tremendous, tremendous kickboxing.